Dissident teachers in the southern Mexico state of Oaxaca protested against what they fear is a government attack against their organization, labor rights, and public education. Authorities dissolved the state's public education institute and froze their union bank accounts. Our correspondent Clinton Khan has more. In a peaceful mega march under the hot Oaxacan sun in shadows of some 20,000 elements of the army and federal police, dissident teachers of the National Coordinator of Education Workers, or CNTE, protest what they say is an attack on their organization and social protest, underscoring the state's omission in education. If you saw the 106 municipalities, thanks to the organization and students' families, we have what exists in the schools. The government in reality does nothing to support us. No nos apoya. It was last Monday when state and federal authorities dissolved the CNTE-controlled Oaxaca State Public Education Institute, which helped to guarantee the labor rights of teachers. Authorities affirm that it is a means to reinforce the so-called education reform. The education reform emancipates and respects the individual and collective rights of the teachers with the law in hand. Yet the dissident teachers who have vehemently opposed the neoliberal reform since 2012 argued that it is more about eroding labor rights than free and accessible public education. The only objective is to eliminate the base jobs of the teachers, eliminate all the rights that we, the CNTE, acquired. And it is to have people working by contract of three to six months, but there's not education aspect to it. The teachers argue that the reform was imposed, along with teacher evaluations that they say are used to eradicate the dissident teachers rather than give them greater capacities. Ultimately, they say they are open to negotiating with the authorities to implement a plural education model. We have a proposal that has been designed collectively with intellectuals, parents, students, teachers, basically the principal actors of education, making a proposal that in reality would elevate the quality of education of our children. However, the authorities continue to deny negotiations, prompting the 100,000-strong CNTE to threaten a labor strike at the beginning of the 2015-2016 school year. Clayton Cantalasur, Mexico City.